tonight. He is home, happy, and healthy. Volunteers who helped track down and return a missing Rottweiler puppy to a St. Petersburg home are being thanked by the dog's owner. The dog named Mahi vanished two and a half months ago. Peter Bernard is live for us at Ferg's with this fascinating story that we've been following from the very beginning. Peter. Yeah, and the owner is thanking Aid on Your Side for playing a role in getting his dog back. And tonight he threw a celebration for the other volunteers behind me, right here at Ferg's. The dog himself, he's spending his second night in his own dog bed since being home. Somehow he ended up at a mobile home park in Sefner. He's the center of attention and the reason these people gathered at Ferg's. This is Mahi. 65 pounds when he disappeared in November. He weighs in now at almost 100. He's physically healthy. I mean, whoever had him, I will thank you at least enough for taking care of him physically. Emotionally, he is totally screwed up and it's going to take a little while, but that's fine. On that November night, Mahi managed to get out of Jason Gell's yard. A neighbor's doorbell camera caught a Lyft driver put Mahi in his SUV. That driver claims the puppy got away and ran off. Jason went public, telling Eight on Your Side how the missing puppy consumed his life. On Wednesday, while in Las Vegas, his mother called with the good news. Mahi was in Sefner. I won the lottery, and I almost got my heart ripped out at the same time. Imagine taking everything you have and throwing it on the line and going to either win or lose. Mm -hmm. And yeah. in this case, I won. Jason is positive this is Mahi. He has an ear that flops over, a tooth that sticks out, and three gray hairs on his neck. And he has the same mannerisms. When I walked in the door, he sat down and nuzzled up right here in my lap and buried his face in there. And actually, I don't know if you've ever seen a dog cry. It doesn't happen very often. He did. Jason believes eight on your side stories played a part in Mahi's recovery. He's now chipped, registered, and will always be near Jason. I literally tied a rope to him instead of a leash because I know this won't break. He is going nowhere. Jason tells me he and his dog get recognized when he's out in public. This story went national. Uh, he doesn't know how that dog ended up, in ended up in Sefner. That is still a big mystery. Jen? Peter Bernard, live for us in St. Petersburg. Thank you, Peter.